Welcome, this is Mark, supergenius99.com, and today's video lecture is going to be about reducing fractions to lowest terms. Okay. So, how do you reduce a fraction to lowest terms? Well, what you do is, you ask yourself what number can divide evenly into this number, the top number, the bottom number. Now, you may not get the biggest number off the bat, but you can always start with something small. Okay. So like on this first one here, we got 22, we got 98. So we're asking yourself, what number can go into both 22 and 98? Well, if both numbers are even, then it's obvious that 2 will work. So I'm going to divide both 22 and 98 by 2. So 22 divided by 2, 98 divided by 2. So what is 22 divided by 2? That's 11. And 98 divided by 2, that is... 49. Okay. Now, how do you know when you're complete? How do you know when you finish, you reduce it to the lowest terms? Well, when the only common factor between the numerator and the denominator is 1, okay, then you have reduced it to lowest terms. So the factors of 11 are 11 and 1. The factors of 49 are 49, 7, and 1. Well, the only two numbers, the only two factors that this numerator and this denominator share is 1, so we know we're done. Okay? So now let's look at the next one. 90 and 39. So what number can go into both 90 and 39? How about 3? So 90 divided by 3 and 39 divided by 3. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by the same number. So it's 90 divided by 3. 30, and 39 divided by 3 is 13, and that's as far as we can go there because the only factors that 30 and 13 share is 1. Okay, let's look at some more. So how about the next one on down, 66 and 57. So you just ask yourself, what number can go into both 66 and 57? Uh, 3. So I'm going to divide 66 by 3, I'm going to divide 67 by 3, so 66 divided by 3, what does that give you? And 57 divided by 3, what does that give you? Are we done? Well, let's see here. The only fa common factors that 22 and 19 share is 1, so yeah, we're done. How about the next one? 92 and 24. So what number can go into both 92 and 24? How about 4? So what is 92 divided by 4? And what is 24 divided by 4? Okay, are we done? Just ask yourself, is there any two numbers that, what are the number? what are the common factors that 23 and 61 share? Well, they only share one common factor, and that's one, so you're done. Okay, so this concludes my video lecture about reducing fractions to lowest terms. You can look me up online, www.supergenius99.com. Thanks for watching.